Hi guys, it's Miss Alyssa and I'm going to teach you how to make banana bread today. Before we start, I'm going to wash my hands with some soap. Ingredients that we're going to need for this recipe, we need butter, milk, sugar, flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, two eggs, and bananas. And we're also going to need a big bowl and a 13 by 9 baking pan. To start by preheating the oven to 350. The first step is to take your bananas. You can use three or four. I like to use four bananas. And we're gonna unpeel all of them and add them into this big bowl that's right in front of me here. Next, I'm gonna take my fork. I'm gonna mash the bananas until they're all mixed in together and mushy. As you can see, I mixed up the bananas so they're all mushy. Now I'm going to add two thirds cup of margarine. I'm gonna take my measuring cup. This is a one third of a cup measuring cup, so I'm gonna do two of these. Use a spoon to get the butter out. Make sure it's filled to the top. And we're just gonna take this and put it in our big bowl that we have here. I'm gonna do another one. And then we're gonna mix it all together. Now that our banana and butter is mixed through, we are gonna add all the dry ingredients. So we have sugar, flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. I'm gonna start by adding two and a half cups of flour. So I only have a half a cup measuring cup, but if you have a cup, it's usually easier to do. Sometimes I like to use a knife to level it off the top, but be super safe if you're gonna do that like that. So for a half a cup, two is one cup. So we're gonna do five of these. Three. Four. Five. And I'm adding these all right to the bananas and the butter mixture in this large bowl here. Now I'm going to add one and two thirds cup of sugar, which is in here. And before I mix everything together, I'm just gonna add all the dry ingredients in first and then we will mix it at the end. So again, I'm using my half cup measuring cup. So I'm gonna need two of these. Just shake it off on the top. Too. And two thirds, so I'm gonna go back to my one third cup and I'm gonna do two of these. Now I'm gonna add baking powder. I'm gonna use my one teaspoon because we need one of these and then a fourth teaspoon. So I'm gonna do one of these, I'm gonna level it off on the side. That in. And then I'm gonna use my other ones that I have. So this one's one fourth. I'm gonna use this. Pull it off. And I'm gonna throw that in there too. Now I'm gonna do one teaspoon of baking soda, which is a little bit different than baking powder. And I'm going to use my one teaspoon. I'm gonna shake that off. I'm gonna level it off. I'm gonna put this in. Add one teaspoon of salt. So again, it's okay for dry ingredients if you just reuse the one teaspoon that you've been using. I like to shake it out a little bit. 
So I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to drop that in this big bowl too. So that was all my dry ingredients. Now I'm going to add a third cup of milk. The reason why we're adding this into all the dry ingredients is because it's going to keep it a little bit moist when we go and mix it. So I'm going to use my measuring cup. I'm going to put it down on the table so I can see. I'm going to do one third of a cup. Put that aside. I'm going to pour this right into here. So now I'm going to take my bowl and I'm going to bring it over to my mixer that I have here. If you don't have one of these, you can definitely mix it by hand. I just like to use these because it's a little bit faster and I can change the speeds on this as well. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lock it into place and I'm going to mix it until everything is mixed in that I just put in there. So I mixed it for two minutes. It's nice and smooth. You can see. I'm going to now add our other one third cup of milk in here. Okay. Pour this right into the bowl. And then I'm going to add two eggs. You can crack them right into here, or you can use a bowl and crack them into the bowl in case there's no shells in there. So let's do that. Crack it. And then I'm going to pour this right into here. Now I'm going to take it back to my mixer and cook it for another two minutes. Our mix is done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour it in here. I'm going to use one of these to get everything out of the side of the pan. If you don't have one, you can just use a regular spoon. So we're going to pour this in. I'm just going to scrape it out here. Oops, I did not mix it. Here, so pour that into here. Make sure everything is out of the bottom of the pan so you get it all in here. Okay, I'm just gonna mix it. Okay. okay, sometimes I like to mix it around just to make sure everything's mixed in. Now that we're done, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven and we're gonna put it in the oven for 45 minutes and let it cook. I just put the bread in the oven, but now I have to clean up my mess. Our 45 minute timer just went off and I'm gonna go ahead, grab, I'm gonna use a toothpick and I'm gonna go check to see if it's done. I'm gonna make sure that I have a pot holder, something that is not gonna hurt your hand when you go in the oven. Maybe an adult can help you with this part. I'm gonna pull out the thin. I'm just gonna test it. And mine came out clean, so it looks like it's done. Our banana bread is done. It has dried. So now I'm gonna cut it. Please let an adult help you with this part. And I'm just gonna cut it into cubes and leave it in the pan because the pan that I have actually has a cover so I can just put the cover on top when I'm done. So then I cut off pieces like that. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to cover it up. That's all done. So before I put this away, since I have so much banana bread here, I'm actually going to take some out and package it and go give some to my neighbor.